Hey YouTube, it's Audrey. How is everybody doing? I have been out the last couple weeks traveling for work and really haven't had much of a chance to do any projects or videos. So um, I wanted to do this one to let you guys know that during my travels for work, I met a couple of my YouTube buddies. Um, the week before last, I had to go to New Orleans for work. And so I met up with Sloan, who's Miss Sad64 here on YouTube. Hey Sloan, how you doing girl? Sloan has been so busy with working and everything, but she took her time out to come and pick me up and she took me out to dinner and I met her daughter and we just had a great time. Uh, it was so much fun meeting her and it was just like, you know, we've known each other for quite a long while. So I um, hopefully at some point in the future, we'll get back down there so we can hang out again. But I did have a wonderful time with her. And here is a picture of Sloan and I when we had gone out that night. And then this week, um, I just got home and this week I was in Atlanta and I got to meet Veronica, who's VB Allen one here on YouTube. And Veronica brought her daughter and I had a friend and her daughter and we all met up at what has to be my favorite restaurant in Atlanta and it's Veronica's favorite and it's a place called Spine Divots and we had a nice time and I just loved hanging out with Veronica. She is so genuine and Veronica always comments on my videos and says wonderful things. So hey Veronica, I had a wonderful time and of course Veronica with um, me being a guest, she brought me a gift, which is what you see in front of you. Um, I was surprised and I was like, you don't have to do that. And Veronica said, you're a guest here. So yes, I had to bring you a gift. So I did not say, oh, well, you could keep it. No, I took it because I knew it was going to be something good. But she altered this cute pink burlap bag and she die cut some paper with um a spellbinders die and she added lace to the bottom and to the top and it just is so cute so then on the inside this is what she gave me and i'm all excited because i just loved it she altered a jar, a mason jar. Let's get it right here. It had to travel through the airways. But she altered a jar. And um, inside of the jar is some, or our handmade flowers that she made for me. And so if we take a look at the jar. She did such a beautiful job with this. I love this jar. I mean, she has added lace to the top she painted the top pink so she added lace and flat back pearls and then lace that stands up around here but then around the mouth of the jar she has these beautiful roses and other flowers on the sides and then pearl drops and then if you look around she has some of um that pink lace i believe this trim came from Hobby Lobby but then she has the white pearl flower trim layered on top of that how beautiful is that guys she did such a good job I love this jar and then at the bottom she put lace that covers up the bottom of the jar and then she has flat back pearls all around but then <laughs> And I told her I was excited because I have not yet made any flowers myself. And so I will definitely cherish these because although um, I was taught how to make these flowers, I still haven't made any of any sort other than that one paper, um, crepe paper one that I showed you. But she filled this jar to the brim with handmade flowers and they are all gorgeous I mean each and every one of them so if you look at the first one 
look at this. I mean, it is just, I was looking at him in my hotel room going, ooh, ah. <laughs> so I had to share it with everybody. But this is this one is all white and it has like white netting, um, white sheer organza um, petals. And then in the center, she has a white rose um, and she has added stickle, um, stickles to it. And the rose is a velvet rose. You can't tell if you could tell that on camera, but it is velvet. And there's multiple, multiple layers. Just lovely. I love those. And then look at this one, guys. She made one. Well, she has crocheted doilies. And I don't know if she crocheted them or not. Veronica, you can tell me if you did or not. Whether you did or not, it's cute. <laughs> I'm like, but, so, she made petals out of the crocheted doilies. And then there's a little doily here. And then there is a resin flower here in the center. And then one of those rosette pieces um, that you could get at the trim, I believe, like from Hobby Lobby. So, there's that one. And here's this adorable pink and white one. I'm going to use these on some of the layouts and projects I do for my God, baby. But um, this one is white trim. But there's also like a white daisy flower underneath. And then there is um, the white kind of crocheted trim. And then... There is one of the rosettes here in the middle with the pink. And then she has a pink um, butterfly cameo in the center. How pretty. Then there's this one that has multiple layers. Um, there's some like muslin layers. There's another doily crochet layer. Then there's some um, uh, white fabric layers. And then more muslin layers and then a pearl center. I just like the way she has so many different layers on all the flowers. Then there's this pink and white one. Check this out, guys. So this one has different layers of netting and pink fabric. And then in the center, there is some white fabric and then a pearl center. And then there is this one that's very similar to the other one, just slightly different color. And it has the netting and the pink fabric. And then there is a um, pearlized resin flower in the center. And then last but very much not least, there is this one. And this one is similar, but it has a beautiful... Um, rhinestone piece here that looks like it could have possibly been a button but I just love them all and since I don't have a whole lot of flowers that have been handmade the only ones that I have are ones that I have gotten as I said as gifts I um, have gotten a couple from Cheryl and Tamika and I won a couple from Sean Lee and um, I think those are the only ones that I have actually so I am looking forward to using these and then looking forward to using this beautiful jar to store some other goodies in but Veronica I just want to say thank you so much and here is a picture of me and Veronica. So again, Veronica, thank you very much. I enjoyed meeting you. And Sloan, I enjoyed meeting you. Thank you for coming to get me and thank you for dinner. It's always so much fun to go places and to meet some of all of you that are out there on YouTube. So this week I got a chance to meet two buddies and I look forward to possibly in the future meeting you. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And you have a great and very blessed day.